Hello, friends. It's Terry with Terry's Mailbox, and I'm here today presenting this sweet honeypot card as part of the Hedgehog Hollows August 2020 subscription box. So I started by white heat embossing onto um, watercolor paper. And again, because I knew I was going to do a, um, you know, watercolor powder type background so that I could get kind of just the multitude of colors and the, and the moving. So again, at this point, I am just uh, using Versamark and um, stamping the, again, watercolor uh, paper. So I love how you can create backgrounds using different, uh, different images. So here I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle the embossing powder on there and had a few random flakes here so I grabbed my my paintbrush to kind of brush them away and then I went ahead and heat embossed the background so then I used a couple of the uh, watercolor powders um, in yellows and oranges to go ahead and just kind of sprinkle those over the background. And again, it doesn't take a whole lot of powder to get really good color. So the next thing I did was go ahead and spritz it with my um, Distress spray bottle. And then I thought it needed some more oranges, so I went back with the orange. And again, here I am just kind of sopping up some of the extra water on there. And I am just using that embossed, um, embossed background. So I needed to go ahead and stamp some extra uh, honey pots and applicators and lots of bees. I used lots of bees on this one, so I'm using Gina K because I intend to color it with my Copics. So I just kind of grabbed out honey appropriate colors here and just kind of colored the, colored the pot and the little tops. I just thought these images were so cute, and I really like this realistic looking bee. Um, wait till you see what I do with them. <laughs> and I decided it needed a little drip coming off the bottom of the applicator. So in the end, I took my uh, black bullet alcohol marker and outlined that so that it matched the rest of the applicator. So I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut that yellow uh, looking cap out because I wanted to add some dimension again to the honey pot on the front. I actually ended up fussing cutting all of these pieces out, including all the bees and one of the applicators. And see, I'm going to place that right there on that honey pot. So here I've got all of my pieces cut out and I've got some acrylic strips as you can see there. So I've got my honey pot and I ended up tying a piece of uh, twine around it. And that's going to go somewhere towards the middle here. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach the um, bees to the acrylic strip. And then I'll attach them to the back of the honey pot. So just kind of adding the bees here and trying to make sure they go in different directions. And so the next thing I'm doing is attaching those acrylic strips to the back of the honey pot. So I'm using uh, Distress Collage Medium because I think it, um, it adheres well when doing this. So, whoops, put the glue on the wrong side. <laughs> so I had to go back and fix that. So again, adding the last little bee here. I just thought they were cute. And then I ended, pull, ended up pulling the bees off of the other two acrylic strips you see there um, to put on the card. But I also decided here to add a black, um, black background to kind of encase the, um, 
the acrylic strips in and I'm just using a clothespin here to hold it shut until it dries. So as you can see I've removed the bees off of the acrylic strips and I'm just going to add this on here using a wobbler. I did go ahead and black heat emboss the the sentiment there. So again I love the, I love the movement this thing has. I just think it's kind of fun. So again I folded up the, the uh, wings on the bees and added three extra bees on the background. Just way too much fun. So there's my wobbler. So you, as you can see, the bees are kind of buzzing around and the honeybee pot kind of wobbles at the same time. So again, this is Terry with Terry's Mailbox. And again, I'm on the design team for Hedgehog Hollow. And this is their August 2020 subscription box. So you'll have to check it out. It's really cute. So again, this is Terry with Terry's Mailbox. I'm on YouTube, Blogger, Instagram, and Facebook. Would love to have you follow and subscribe.